and five losses, four and five. Okay. Uh, 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 Mm-mm. Well, we were definitely getting stream sniped last game. I just banned the guy who was sniping. That was on the enemy team. It's always fun when people, like, attach their fucking profile, their, like, Twitch profile, and then, like, type in chat at the same time. Do you want to see how smart people are in this video game? I'm not even going to give them the attention. There was like, it was just like the, it was like some random on the other team. That's actually kind of funny. Oh yeah, these guys were definitely stream sniping. They've stream sniped before. Not this game. It was the previous one. Anyway. Consulate again for the 97th time it is like, this is the only map that I can ever play. Seems, I guess. <sighs> Mm-mm. Mm. No, there's actually just somebody who's in chat, like, fairly frequently. Which is kind of sad, but, uh, whatever. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know? Mm-mm. Okay. Jackal banning is a waste. One of the reasons you hate op banning. Um, kind of, yeah, to be honest. I don't know why... <clears throat> I'd rather ban Osa any day of the week. To me, Osa is like the ban. Mm -mm. Hey, pinging. Mayo sucks? Bro, what the fuck do you mean mayo sucks? You are absolutely fucking- Yeah, you are wrong, bro. Mayo is fucking nice, dude. I don't know what you are talking about. Oh my god, they're fucking shooting. Okay, what do you put on a sandwich then if you don't put mayo? Like, mayo's like the, like, topping for like... Okay, let's just say you have like a turkey, like, like, a BLT or something. That's actually ridiculous that that guy jumped out that far, but whatever. raw dog it like no no mayo nothing just dry you're a mustard hoe i mean mustard can be pretty good too but like it's not there where are they picking this guy from then i try to recover bomb I'll just hit, like, every single fucking thing. One bathroom, bathroom. He impacted me, his bathroom. <clears throat> nice go. If you can pick me up, I'll try to plant. <clears throat> nah? Okay, cool. Oh, 
Mm-mm. This guy's just running around like they don't have a cap can. <laughs> nice job. See what I should run. I'll run Therm. Mm -mm. Well, thank you, Combat Matt. Chili mayo is good. Ooh. They need to locate a bomb. I have um. I have not had uh, chili mayo before, but that sounds good. I would try it. Mayo on shawarma? Hell no, dude. You can't put mayo on a shawarma. <clears throat> you gotta put the garlic sauce. A1 is disgusting. A1's alright. I mean, I would never pick it. Ideally, I don't like having a steak sauce. Or if I, if like, if I'm at like a high end restaurant, <clears throat> or like a, a not even high end, just a steakhouse, and they have like a house sauce. Get that. The house sauces are generally pretty good. But, I mean, A1, I would never put it on my steak, really, but I could eat it. Like, it's fine. Especially if the steak is, like, a day or two old and you're, like, warming it up. So you don't have time to throw it back on, like, a skillet or something. You know, you just have to, like, microwave the steak. <laughs> I mean, A1 could be okay for, like, that kind of stuff. I just, I tanked the fire, but the walls are gonna have two off. The Chonka's on that ping, on yellow pillar. Nice kill. There's an element on the breach above the drone hole. Okay, there's two. Nice. Okay, you got one. Or sorry, um, the other one's a Prisma. The other one's in kitchen that I heard running around. I think you got him. Um, I'm a plant. Nice job. Uh, 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 uh. Sweet Baby Ray's sauce is the best sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's is good, dude. Honestly, though, I feel like I'm not, I'm, am I the only one here that's thinking this? But I swear, Sweet Baby Ray's, like, I feel like it kind of, like, uh, like, went downhill over the years. Like, I feel like when I was a kid, or, like, even, like, ten years ago, not even a kid necessarily, I feel like it was better. It feels like it's like uh, they like cheapened it up or something. Like they use like cheaper ingredients now or something. I don't know, man. Hey, I'm going crazy, but it tastes worse to me. We need to locate a bomb. It's still good, but it used to be better, man. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe I'm just losing my mind, but. Mm -mm. I guess I'm the only one then. I I don't know. You get what I mean? Yeah, I'm not saying that it's bad. Like it's st I would honestly still put B Sweet Baby Ray's is probably like a good A to S tier if I'm like on a you know ranking it or something. But with that being said, like it just it used to be like a strong S tier. Like I would not be like thinking about maybe putting it in A tier. You know.
Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe maybe it's just placebo, but it feels like they cheapened up the formula a little bit. I run out. Yo, there's a C4 here. I'd shoot it. You're about to die if they get you, yeah, Thatcher. Shoot this. Yeah. Alright. Um, the hatch is still cated. I can actually. I'm gonna come up there and I can thermite around it if you have control. Oh no, we don't have control. Uh, one's yellow pillar. Bomb. I'll try to plant. Down to one friendly. The diffuser is now secured. Oh my god, this guy just keeps peeking? Fuck, dude, what is he peeking that for? This guy dumped ten bullets left, and he had fucking, what, two bullets left? I guess he just hit my head. I was convinced he was going to be out of ammo on that one. Oh, well. Lamb? Oh, lamb is great. We're probably actually going to make some lamb tomorrow, more than likely. We are probably actually going to make some lamb tomorrow. I'm actually pumped about that. My wife makes A1 lamb chops. Like, like, oh my god, dude. I've actually never had better lamb chops in my life than my wife makes. I'm fucking pumped to eat those. Like, oh. I'm actually really pumped. I bought a pack of them from Costco, and, uh, looking forward to them. You dislike lamb chops? I feel like you probably don't like them because they're kind of dry, right? When people don't make lamb chops the right way, they're kind of dry and, they, like, they don't taste great. But if they're made right and they're really juicy and, like, flavorful, oh, there's, like, it's honestly one of my favorite meals now. I used to like like lamb chops before, but not like like now. You made them once and you just like them. I would give them another try. Lamb chops are great when they're made right. The thing is, you can fuck up a lamb chop like super easily, and if you mess them up, they don't taste like they don't taste for, like if lamb is dry, it's nasty. It's not nasty, but it's like it's pretty bad. Like I'd, I'd probably have rather have like a lot of different foods than. Like lamb, so then dry lamb, juicy like like well made lamb is like oh, I'm telling you, don't miss out on it. Yeah, if you have to go to a restaurant that has a good reputation for making lamb. I don't know why I killed, but someone outside of the uh, garage wall. Oh, he ran on the security hall all the way through. Um, okay, one's outside of yellow, yellow, in yellow, in yellow, Thorn. Let's try. All friendlies were eliminated. Lamb in the smoke. I've actually never had smoked lamb before. You feel like people overcook it because they think it needs to be well done? I don't think you eat lamb. I don't know. I guess my wife makes it like, I'd say like medium, I would say more. I don't think you put it as medium rare for lamb. I think it's more of like a me medium to medium rare, I guess. It's not like a steak, though. Like, generally, I think you want lamb medium. I don't know, though. Maybe she does make them. Like, they are kind of... They're definitely pretty juicy. Definitely not well... If you make them well done, though, you're... you're. I mean, it's not like they can't be good well done. It's just the way they're prepared. If they're, like, juicy, that's the biggest thing. They gotta be juicy. Um, Secure the area. Let's see. Protected. I'm kind of curious. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, I th well, at least from what I know, like you're uh, you're not supposed to cook lamb medium rare, but medium is okay. I don't know though. That was um what I was always told, but like I don't fucking know how true that shit is. You know, it's kind of like one of those like almost like a hearsay types of things, I suppose. I don't know if it was ever like a legit thing. Mm. Yeah, if anybody has a source on that, I'd actually be kind of curious. Or like... Putting a whole lamb on a stick and cooking it? Oh yeah, dude, that shit's fucking great. Are there more in there? I'm gonna see for it. Did they make the French flag invulnerable, dude? We have case over here. Nice pings. There we go. Little three piece round, I guess. I need to help aim your bronze. You can't. Every time you get a gunfight, you spaz out and shoot all over the place. Uh, lower your sensitivity. It's probably too high. Start with that. Choose four or 800 DPI and play on the lowest sensitivity you possibly can. Buy a big mouse pad. If you're on a controller, lower your sensitivity. Do that first, and then just play like Terrace Hunt, and you could download Aim Lab. It's free. You could type extra to Aim Lab. Um, there's actually a bunch of Aim Trainers on Aim Lab. From an article online, it's safe to eat at a cooler internal temperature like medium rare because most of the pathogenic bacteria can make you sick from concentrated outside the meat, unlike chicken, which can contain bacteria like salmonella with the meat properly butchered. Uh, and sword lamb typically only has bacteria on the outside, so if you cook, or sort the outside, at a meat at a high temperature, the bacteria kill- Oh, okay, so you can eat it at medium rare. I don't know, maybe my wife does make it at medium rare. I don't know, I guess, like, kind of? I don't know, I feel like she makes it me between medium and medium rare, kind of. Steaks, we always cook medium rare, though. Like, every time. But... I don't know, lamb, I feel like it's more of like a medium to medium rare. Maybe not like a straight up medium rare. I don't know though, dude. I'll have to ask my wife, honestly. But anyway, she makes lamb with like a... Oh, it might be coming back, sad. There was a drone pre-placed. Um, my wife makes it with like a chimichurri sauce. Dude, a nice, like, medium, whatever, medium rare lamb, lamb chop, like a good quality one. They sell pretty good quality ones at Costco. Dude, that with a chimichurri sauce is fucking nice, dude. Very fucking nice. It is, like, it's like a very, um, like, refreshing meat dish, I guess. It's, which is kind of like, normally, you know, for meat dishes, they're normally not, like, super... Like, they're always good, but they're normally not, like, refreshing, per se.
Mm -mm. Nice kill. How the fuck did this guy just get an impact kill? What? Oh, the audio's freaking out. My bad. Mm-mm. C4 the left side to get a kill every time. Um, I feel like people go more on the right. Like the hard breachers go more on like the right. I don't know though. It's like it's just 50-50, really. It's just a guess. I got a kill throwing it right side last time. Alright, one's in yellow. Nice job. Nice job. GG. That was a good game. Done, Rooney. Oh, How do you think we can fix the current swinger be swung meta? Um, a small change that I think could help a lot is buffing barbed wire. Uh, no. I've never used that OS. I use the Corsair Saber RGB Pro Wireless. Dude, did you guys, by the way, somebody just said Zoom. You're take, you're saying take away Zoom, Zoom sites, but just randomly. Did you guys see how Zoom, the company Zoom, is forcing all of their employees back into the office? <laughs> Bro, they're the ones who made fucking... <laughs> They were, like, the most popular fucking company when it came to, like, or the biggest name, I would say. I mean, Team Set, well, anyway, there's a lot of irony, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'll tell you why, by the way, though, too. People have been talking about, like, oh, like, why are all these companies making their employees, like, come back to the office and stuff like that, okay? And I'll tell you why. It's actually not for the reasons that people are thinking of, really. Okay, so people are like, there's all these like weird things about like, oh, they think there's more productivity. I mean, some of these things might be true here and there or whatever, or like cities and like office buildings are like pressuring them to like, you know, be in the office. Like some of these things might be true, but a lot of it is, think about it like this. A lot of it is this. Imagine that you're Zoom, right? You massively overhired during the pandemic, thinking that work from home would probably be like a bigger thing for a longer time, right? And then like, you know, everything like cooled off. People are kind of like going back to the office, right? You need to lay off employees. Laying off employees is very expensive, especially if they've been there for a little bit because you have to pay either severance, unemployment, like other things, right? Like all those things kind of like go together, right? But if you can get those employees to just quit on their own, then that's better because then you don't have to pay them anything, right? There's no, like, cost to firing people, right? The problem is you lose some of your better talent sometimes, but what they, a lot of these companies are doing is if they need to, like, fire people and they don't want to fire people, they don't want to actually fire people, they will just say, like, oh, hey, we're um, returning to the office. Like, whoever doesn't like it, too bad, quit right? And that will cause people to quit. So instead of having to pay out giant severance packages and unemployment and whatever, all this kind of stuff, the people just quit and leave on their own. And then, you know, for example, Zoom, that's, I, I'm, you know, it's, it's different factors too, but I think that's a really big one. I, I think at least because, you know, you'll probably get like a good chunk of people that are just going to quit, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Move removing magnified sites and stuff to change the meta. Um, I don't know, man. I I mean, magnified sites were like a good thing when it was like every operator had them, and also like they changed the perspective. Like, there's just been a lot of moves that Ubisoft has been making.